What is going on, everybody? We are back at the tabletop today in a different tabletop, a little bit of the old school vibes. If you've been around the channel for any length of time, you remember the old Shamog backdrop. It's like an early 2000s YouTube gun channel thing. So we're bringing it back with the retro vibes today. And today's going to be a quick one. We just want to talk about uh, this MTM ammo crate. And uh, it's divided, which we should not be as we the people. So make sure you fight for your rights and live as constitutionally as you feel comfortable all the time. But this here, being divided in this aspect, is a good thing. You know what else is a good thing? That it's made in the USA. Can't go wrong with that. So here are some of the specs on it. Again, MTM, Case Guard, the Divided Ammo Crate. Uh, these things are relatively cheap. They're less than 30 bucks, and in some cases, less than 20 bucks. You got three removable portions, or partitions, I should say. Um, stackable, of course. Water-resistant, O-ring sealed, not waterproof, but water-resistant, made of high-impact polypropylene, extra strong side-mounted handles, as seen here, and here. Easily handles 75 pounds of cargo, which that's decent for a plastic box. Um, typically, I'm more of a fan of the metal ammo cans because they're more durable. But, you know, 75 pounds is still a good bit of weight to load this thing down with and have whatever you need with you. Uh, double padlock tabbed and double latched, so you can lock it up. If you are traveling or whatever you need to do, uh, or if you're just trying to keep prying eyes and hands out of there, you can do that. So let's open her up and take a look. All right, here we go. Um, here's a look at it. And it comes with its divided partitions, uh, as stated, and you can configure it the way that you want. However, for my purposes, I think I'm going to leave it be. Uh, let's take a look here at the O-ring. So you do have an O-ring, so it should keep it mostly air and water tight. That's all around the seal, all around the lid. And then again, you do have your four separate sections uh, that you can place whatever items in there that you see fit. It does come with like a little propaganda pamphlet with all their different uh, accessories and all their different items that they sell and you know if you're interested in them I'm, I've had really good luck with their products and again they're made in the US and uh, for storage of ammo or gear or guns they got you covered so check that out we will get that out of the way for now but here we go you can remove these by pulling up on them and, uh, you know, you could have two big sections, you could have a, one small section, one really large section, whatever you want to do. Um, I like this idea, though, because in my opinion, this is perfect for a prepper, or it's perfect for a guy that's always on the range training, or whatever it may be. Because look, 5.56, five, 9mm, 12 gauge, 22 Fill it to the brim, loose pack, in boxes, in mags, whatever you need to do. And uh, you throw this in the truck when you're going to the range and you literally have ammo for most of your calibers that you're commonly going to be training with. That's not a bad thing. What else could you do with it? Well, you could take some of the partition sections out and use it for a helmet box. And you can put your helmet in there, and then you can put your PVS-14 or your thermal or whatever it is, your battery packs, your accoutrement. You're going to have space around the helmet to stuff things in there as well. And it's going to be protected from the elements. It's going to be protected from drops. Especially when all this stuff tends to cost money, okay? This is the hardhead veterans, um... ATE bump helmet, check it out. I have a previous review on this thing as well if you want to check out the entire setup and everything I got going on here. Um, awesome, awesome. Huge shout out to Hardhead Veterans. And uh, make sure you check them out in the link pinned in the comment section below. Uh, they got some really good stuff for really good prices. They got bumps and ballistics. And if you're running thermal or night vision, or even if you're not, uh, you probably should be running a helmet when you're doing dynamic tactical maneuvers because uh, bumping your head, getting in and out of a vehicle, you know, frag, whatever's going on. Um, a lot of crazy stuff happens when... Uh, crazy stuff is happening so protecting your dome piece probably a good idea and uh, you could protect what protects your dome piece with this conversely you could use this as a deployable med station okay so you can pack it chock full of medical equipment this is a my medic um ifac and it's pretty ready to go everything in there that you need you could of course build on top of it throw whatever else in there you think you want um 
but pretty good deal for what they are, for what they give you inside, and for the packs that are already, you know, configured and easily molly attachable to any of your other kit and yada 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 if you're interested in that check out the link in the link tree to my medic um medical medical supplies okay beans bullets and band-aids the band-aids are really really important when you need them so you could set this up uh again divide it individually whatever you want you could have immediate combat stuff you could have boo-boo stuff over here you could have you know itchy scratchy bug bite stuff neosporin whatever you can devise it however you want keep it in the truck keep it in the minivan keep it under the bed keep it you know with your grab and go kit and uh, you can have everything you need organized and protected Maybe you're a comms guy, and so you want to protect all your radio equipment from the elements, the weather, you know, dropping around, getting banged around. It's obviously sensitive. You can put your bail fangs in there, whatever radio you're running. Um, smokes, you know, these are signaling device. You could have smokes in there with it, however you want, or refills to the smokes that are already on your kit. You could have cables and chargers and battery banks and everything organized specifically how you want it. You could even label it somehow on the inside, different colorways, whatever it needs to be. But you have your kit protected, divided organized and grab and go ready at any minute so you really can't go wrong maybe you use it for a toolbox maybe you're hunting and you want your shotgun shells or your 30 out six or your 270 and maybe a set of binos and maybe some hand warmers and maybe whatever other accoutrement you might need your your skin and knife and and everything at all your tools that you need to go on your hunting trip and this is something super easy and convenient it's got all the stuff divided organized ready to go air and water tight for the most part it's durable you can grab it throw it in the truck and off to hunting camp you go or maybe you're hiking or fishing or just camping or whatever and you need some water purification and, you know, something else. Maybe some tent stakes. Maybe whatever you need. You can put it in here. You can organize it. You can take it with you or keep it stored at any given moment for any given need. So the moral to the story is that lately I've been buying a lot of different ammo cans and storage boxes and stuff like that because I have a lot of crap. And uh, I like to keep it organized, and sometimes it gets very difficult to keep it organized. And I like everything being part of its own kit, you know, whatever. This helmet goes with this rifle, which goes with that handgun, and not necessarily. It definitely could, but, um, you know, for whatever. And, and this is here, ready to go. I grab one or two things, and I have everything I need. So something like this, and I'm sure they're not the only ones doing it. In fact, I know they're not the only ones doing it. But for less than 20 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever it is, uh, I think this gives you a lot of versatility and uh, a lot of durability for the money. You can store a lot of things. You know, if you throw some night vision in here, obviously keep it in a padded case. Whatever you got to do, don't be stupid, okay? Don't just have it rattling around. But you drop this off the back of your truck or somebody sits on it on accident or whatever happens, it's going to protect that two, three, five, ten thousand dollar $10,000 investment. And this is only 20 bucks. Um, and again, just being able to keep, even if you do use it strictly for ammo, or mags, or your shooting competition, and you got your, you know, your mags, your spare mags, your ammo, you know, a shot timer, different things that you need for what you're doing, and uh, just because you have, you know, just one doesn't mean you can't use it for multiple purposes, unless, of course, you want to keep it dedicated for one thing, for a rainy day, the old Bujahadeen, whatever it may be, but something like this, very, very useful, 75 pound uh, weight capacity, so you're going to be able to stuff it full of whatever it is that you think you need, and hopefully, if you're a grown-ass man or a strong, independent woman, you should still be able to carry it. So, again, silly little stupid video. Brought out some toys for some eye candy and uh, some other stuff to kind of show you, give you some ideas of what you could use this for. But again, that's totally up to you. And uh, the options are endless, but I think it's wise to invest in stuff like this to protect your other investments, be able to take them with you and take them with you protected in a durable container that you don't have to worry about it because you might have to be on the move or it might just be a camping trip or a hunting trip or you're going on vacation or whatever it is. Having some stuff like this laying around not a bad idea. So anyway, that's the video, guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Leave it in the comment section below what you guys think, what you would set it up with, what you're going to throw in yours. And uh, check all the links pinned in the description box below, the comment section below, especially the first three, because those would help you fight for your God-given, enable, constitutionally protected, reaffirmed, but inherent by birth gun rights, people. Somebody's got to do it. Might as well be you.
And don't ever forget, 